seconds count. You need to be prepared. It could be the difference in someone's life or death. The automatic CPR machine, there's uh, the Lucas device. It's able to, to give CPR at a set rate. Jaws of Life, which we use to extricate people that are in uh, car accidents. So I just want to make sure everything's in good working order. So if we do have uh, an incident, we're prepared for it and we're not fumbling around looking for our equipment. As soon as we get on the scene, uh, we can start acting and, and start uh, trying to change things for, for the better. My name is Dan Reed. I'm a firefighter and paramedic at Niles Fire Department, also uh, the steward of Teamsters Local 700, and I'm proud to be an essential worker. Since the COVID-19 pandemic started, uh, life's been a little bit more stressful here um, in terms of making sure we don't get sick, we don't spread it to each other, to, to our families. There's certainly been a lot of incidents in contact with, with the disease every day with uh, people with symptomatic and confirmed cases. I'd say average is, you know, you could do eight to 10 in a day. We have a uh, medical office that does the testing here, so we, we actually get contacted with every known case that we interact with. We, they call us the next day and let us know how many contacts we had. We try to follow all the CDC guidelines. Um, currently what we're doing is we're required to wear our, our CBRN masks, uh, which is uh, chemical, radiological, biological, nuclear. We use those on every call along with uh, along with gloves. If it's a known or suspected case, we also wear a gown. And certainly the guidelines are changing from, from day to day. We have a, a it's basically like a big plastic sheet we're supposed to put over patients if we're doing any uh, serious interventions like intubating them. Um, and we'll just have essentially a plastic sheet trying to separate them and us. If anyone here gets sick and gets it, it's gonna get spread throughout the, the station pretty quickly. We're here for 24 hours living, living with each other, eating with each other. We're also concerned about bringing, bringing it back to our families. So it's, it's been a little more stressful than usual. I'm proud to be a Teamster because it helps us have a voice with management, uh, have a voice in, in how, what our policies are, uh, make sure we get treated fairly. And I think Teamsters have been incredibly supportive to us during negotiations and even beyond that, they're always there to help us out from We've had a couple uh, of our coworkers that have had issues with their family, some illness, and Teamsters has always been supportive, sponsoring uh, events and stuff like that. <laughs> Me and all my coworkers are committed to our job during COVID-19 because this is what we do, this is what we've signed up to do. The pandemic doesn't change that for us. There is a heightened level of uh, potential threat to us and of getting sick, and, but I think uh, all of us take pride in what we do helping people, knowing that we're making a difference every day. That's what we came here to do and that's what we're gonna to continue doing.